In this training video, we're going to look at the use of multiple slide masters within PowerPoint and creating multiple slide masters as well as applying multiple slide masters. So if we go to the view tab and look at the slide master, at present there's with a big number one at the top, so that's telling you you've got slide master one displayed. Well, if I wanted to, I could insert more and more slide masters by going to insert slide master. So in this, in this example, I'm going to insert a second slide master to create a new design. So I'm going to go to insert slide master. Uh, this is within the slide master tab when you open up the slide master from the view tab. So insert slide master. Now it gives you a blank slide master to work with. So I'm going to create a slightly different design here. I'm going to insert the logo. So I'm going to go insert. And I'm going to go insert picture. Logo, insert. I'm going to put the logo on in the top right. So it's now on every one of the slides I can see. So I'm going to apply my own design now to this particular slide master. So I'm going to go through theme and I'll choose wisp. Now I've applied the theme. Now what you might notice is that as soon as you apply a theme, it actually opens up its own slide master. So when so what that's saying to you is if you wanted to use a theme, you don't necessarily have to insert a slide master. So what I could do here in this example, now I've inserted one, could click on number two and actually delete the slide master. And then I know I've got one with the theme I selected. So even though I've inserted a slide master, we can now see that the theme actually inserts its own slide master. So I'm gonna now, now I've inserted, I'm gonna delete the blank number two. Now I've got the slide master I want with the logo I want. We can now see how to make this work within PowerPoint. Now what I'm gonna bring something to your attention right now is something called preserve. Now whatever you want to use within PowerPoint, you need to preserve that master. So I can click on the number one and I've got a little icon next to it, a little thumbnail. So that's preserved that, I, that, that slide master design for use within PowerPoint. Now I've got no preserve against number two. So I'm gonna click on the number two and I'm gonna preserve that with a little pin against it. So when you preserve them, that means you can make use of them within PowerPoint themselves. So we can see number one has been preserved with its own design. Slide master two has been preserved with its own design. Now we're gonna start applying the slide masters to different slides. So I'm gonna close the slide master tab down. Now I might wanna use the design I just created so I can go to the design tab. Now the slide masters you've, you've, you've preserved are now available under your themes. So under my themes, I've now got this presentation. So there's the first slide master I produced with the logo at the top left. And here's the second slide master I preserved. If I hadn't preserved them, I couldn't use them. I couldn't apply, apply them like I'm going to do now. So I'm going to click on the, the wisp design. And now I've got a logo design in the color I wanted with the wisp. If I go back to the standard design, I've now got the standard design with the logo in the right place. Well, for whatever reason, we might want, say in this example, we've got slide one to 10. We might want the odd numbers to be one design and the even slides to be another design. So I'm gonna make the even slides two to 10 the wisp design. So I select two, 
Hold the control key down, select four, keep going until I come to six. Hold control key down. Control key again for eight. And one more, control key for ten. With those five selected, I'm not going to click on the Wisp, I'm going to right click the Wisp design. And I'm going to say, apply to selected slides. So now if I look through the presentation, slide number one is the original slide master design. Slide two is the design that I wanted, which I've now put the Wisp against. So what I've done in effect is apply designs to slides that I want to. So it doesn't always have to be throughout the entire presentation. Now you might say, what happens if you delete a design? Let's look into this. So we've now inserted a second slide master. We've applied a second slide master. Well, what happens if we were to delete that slide master? Let's have a look what happens now. So I'm going to go back into my view slide master. And here's the original. And so now I only wanted the original slide master for whatever reason. So that means the second one I don't want, but I know I've applied it. So I've preserved it and I've applied it. So let's see how PowerPoint works when you delete a preserved slide master that's been applied. So I've got, I've got the slide master two selected. Delete. Let's see what happened in, in the normal view. So what you'll now see is any slide, and they were all the even slides, all the even slides which had the wisp design against it have now disappeared and they've, and they've all gone back to the original slide master, which was the first one which was created. So now we've got the slide master of the original, but the second slide master as now, which was applied, is now no longer applied because that particular slide master has been deleted. So this completes the example of using multiple slide masters within PowerPoint, the need to preserve them, to use them within PowerPoint itself, how you can use different slide masters against different slides by selecting different slides, and what happens if you happen to delete a slide master when you've applied it. So this concludes the use of multiple slide masters within Microsoft PowerPoint. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.